and earlier as in like because, right before we started this. Yeah, because uh, actually we do like to make things work. Okay, but uh, see the difference between uh, a 3D cam a true 3D camera and a zoom camera is that you can actually go forward and you know when you go back and forward but you can see the quality of the picture on the camera. Isn't that neat folks? Sound good quality sound and of course I, I have a problem trying to bring things up but then again Christ you understand that I don't even like cell phones so on the 3D video, you're able to, just like on the cameras, you can shoot 3D video looking that way. You can't shoot it this way because the, the yeah, cameras are on that because side. Because they, uh, they will not, none of the 3D cameras that we've got, uh, we have Sony 3D, we have some others. There's um, only one camera can we hold it like this. Everything else has to be like this with the smaller cameras. But that, that's not a, that's not a small camera it's, back there, folks. Yeah, but it's not a huge jump. Now, part of it is is with, with this. A lot of you have learned with your cell phones, or actually, I mean, it's very apparent to us is that there are places that, like clubs and events, that you cannot take a camera into. Mm, no, you're not. But you thing. can bring a cell phone because they don't. They, it's a funny. Is this, this thing here is capable? Of giving you the same quality as our Sony 3D camera, they would not allow the Sony 3D into any business. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Um, uh, you know. So you can take this, and you could look. You know, you can have like professional-looking pictures. Yeah. Right with a cell phone. And it does shoot. It does shoot nice. It shoots depending upon uh, prevailing. It, it shoots better pictures than you might think without light, because we did shoot some at the, oh. at the uh, dig it. At, at, at the, um, the digger now dig this. Now dig this over yeah. at the hammer. We were shooting with available light pictures. And that was up. for the opening night at the Hammer Museum. Yeah, the other place we shot it was at the Emmys. Yeah. Um, I actually. The, now this really surprised me. Is they're shooting the Emmys and they allow people to bring their cell phones in so they could tweet about it. Just don't make any noise, which I would have thought the self. You know, I, I would know, but they just, just the way. Of course, they, course they did block, so you could, couldn't really tweet for the first like half hour. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, they can. The, the, like I said, the one thing we do, we have found though, we haven't talked about, which is what generally most everybody said, when we got this, we knew that everybody said that each battery is basically bring your charger with you everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. And um, and <laughs> this thing, if it, I'll run at 50% out of power after I've been out for a, a day. Mm -hmm. and the power tells off, the ability to do things tell off on, I guarantee that. Well, you know, I don't remember what the actual numbers are that they tell you that the, the cameras can do or the, the phones can do as far as battery power. But one of the things I will tell you is the more stuff you have on your Android. Yeah, and this thing. And if you use the camera and if you use the navigation, anything like that is going to eat up your battery power. And um, because right now, for instance, uh, they got those scan things on both of these Androids, which basically. Mm -hmm. But we're getting ready to go to, we start our tra trade season show starting next, this actually Monday. What is it, all the trade shows now have app, they have these little things in your corner, that you, there are pages where you can scan the thing and then it will, it will give you on your Android phone or your tablet a listing of what's going on and where it's going on. Mm -hmm. So, this means our batteries are going to get used a lot more than they would because... Uh, well, part of it is we're bringing extra batteries. We yeah. have a speed charger yeah. and we have extra batteries. Yeah, and yeah. there's uh, another, you know, uh, another feature that basically, okay, um, these phones are generally designed to Bluetooth stuff off of, which is not... We don't have Bluetooth capability on a computer, we have to creek, so you end up have to take... They give you an HDMI plug in so you can plug into your cap into your system. But my system, even though this is, you know, this is basically as good a computer as you can get, it will not recognize the HDMI cable out of this thing. But it will recognize um, the power cable out of it into it, which is funny. So the same cable that you can use to charge through your uh, computer you can use as a means of getting the material off if you can't Bluetooth your HDMI doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I do have HDMI. This, this, this is my, this is my baby editing computer. I mean, it does everything that my big one used to do, except it does it faster and it's lighter. Ooh. I didn't lose my big one, but guarantee you, for the first time ever, we have a computer setting that can be repaired and put back in pristine order 
But the problem is it weighs much long, much more than this one, and it will cost almost as much to get a component. What happened? We we got a, we got a, uh, basically a fix, and it took my computer out. Yeah. It took it totally. And there's a simple answer to that fix. Just put in the recovery disk that came with the. They don't send recovery disk out with these anymore. You know what? You just made me think. Let's contact the company. Yeah, I contacted the company. What they, they, told me, they told me that. Well, unfortunately, those things happen. But if you had a new replace, if you had a new one, it wouldn't happen. Oh, so you need to buy a new computer. Yeah, this is a new computer. This one I basically was able to fix, but the other one I can't. I love that other one, but it's been a year and a half old. That was a good one. I put it out, but no. But this thing, um, that we talked about the power. We talked about the pipe cable connection. Oh, you know, another thing is, I was able to get my hands on an HTC Evo 3D, which is the same size as this one. I mean, side by side. One of the differences that I noticed, because I played with the camera, is that the Evo, the actual, the cameras, looked a little bit bigger, and they had two lights instead of one. Yeah. But the other part is, is this one had a, a better, quite a bit better zoom than the Evo did. Yeah, that, uh, that, like I said, since this thing, we've talked about before, that this thing here will show it to you in either 2D or 3D. So basically, if you just want to show it to people, in 3D, you simply shoot the thing with the light and zoom to work, and then you turn and the 3D, 3D on it. Which makes it easy. And for most people, unless you're working with 3D all the time, well, like for we us, do. we move, we we change it and change, you know, and do all these things with it. But I would say for most people, shoot it in 2D, shoot it watch 3D, it in 3D. Watch it in 3D. Because then on 2D, you can export That's it to it. something else. Because in, unless you have the system, okay, I tried exporting it in 3D over to the computers and you can't really see it if you don't have that 3D system on your computer. I do have a, I do have software that allows me to, you know, called Magic, which allows mm -hmm. me to turn its 2D, I do ridiculous, allows me to take the 3D of the shot on this one, turn it into a 2D, and then software it back to a 3D that can be seen on things. But, uh, but uh, which is funny, that actually, but if I, this is kind of a weird thing, it does have a 3D screen. If I Blu-ray, if I, if I uh, Blu-ray it, I can see it in 3D because I have this is a this is a Toshiba 3D TV 3D uh, set so it, it's it's confused but you cannot unless you have a 3D system on your television set or a 3D on your computer see the 3D on your computer or TV that comes out of this thing. One of the things that I was really surprised about is the settings on this because everybody's familiar that yeah you can get some white balance you can play with some things in your cell phone but. Um, I was really surprised at the different scene modes that you could get on this one because there's actually more than yeah. you could, the po the portrait, landscape, sunset, yeah. night, yeah. Um, color effects, white balance. But here's the other part: is this scene mode is not just for the camera; yeah. it's also for the video. For the video, yeah, and um, you can you have not as many. Uh, changes you can do on the 3D side as you can on the 2D side, but it still lets you do uh, um, uh, changes that will make your picture look better. And you can, uh, you can, it allows you to, to set what storage is either on your exterior chip or your interior chip. You definitely you put it not, on the external you chip. Put it on the external and get the don't bigger do chip. It. it makes it because you get a better quality thing. And, um, but uh, it also has a neat thing. This does have image stabilization capabilities on it. You can put it, turn it on and stabilize your picture. So when you're, you know, you're doing this towards your little kid who's in the, you know, in a school play, and you're going like that, and you know, your your wife is saying, Harvey, don't jiggle that camera. You know, okay. And he's trying to do like this. It doesn't make any difference because you're going to do it like that. It's going to jiggle. But it basically, it's got a decent image stabilization because we did it at the beach. Mm -hmm. And with the waves coming in, we're sitting there, and she's turning around and walk. You know, she's any position, and it did work. I mean, it, 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 it is a good, got a good little, and it's got, it's got a funny sound recorder that shows you the, on the thing, it shows you the sound modulation, so you can change the, you know, how high or low you, you know, how what the speaker, you know. So when you're recording, it's got, like I said, the mics are really great on it. The mics are great because you heard it on there when I moved, we're back here and then up there. So you can sit there and watch the sounds peaking 
Oh, I should see that going. Mm. Which, well, it's good recording. It's good. Oh, actually, yeah, it, was a, it is pretty decent recording. And also, on this, it does um, do full HD, which is 1920. Yeah, yeah that's what this That's why the. Yeah, which is really. That's sort of why this is this way, is so that it is a full, regular. You know, because in proportion, this is exactly like a 3D screen should really be. And if you're getting a screen that is sort of like that, no, it's got to be like this. Like you were looking at a cinerama, or a, actually a cinemascope feature is like that. And the other part that surprised me is that you can actually change the depth of the 3D on here. Yeah, that does make and a you're difference. Going, what? That means your 3D, when you're watching it, instead of being like right here, you can make it the further depth. Yeah. So everything's just not the forefront in 3D, it's the whole picture. Yeah, because the problem is, see, she wears glasses, I don't wear glasses. And um, I, I do have a problem like here, but since that problem is here, I don't need to have the glasses. But people who wear glasses almost always have to change, if they can, to jockey the position. Because uh, you go to a movie theater and you'll see them leaning forward, rocking forward or back, trying to find that sweet spot. This allows you to make the sweet spot right in front of you. Mm -hmm. It does. I mean, you know, out of all the things that we've, we've been playing with this right here, it's like, I'm trying to think, it's like, I've had so much fun, and I love this this cell phone so much. I'm trying to think what what is the bad part about the cell phone? We uh, mentioned the battery. Well, we mentioned the most of the bad part is that people are misusing everything. They don't yeah. bother. Okay, here's the trick: is I never read the manuals on these things, but I do read what people have to say about them. Mm -hmm. And this is what we went out to check on was what. Where people, I mean, we were told specifically by the people when we got the thing in cell phones that there's a, you know, there's a lot of problems with it. Uh, when we told them, 